In this tutorial, you'll learn how to add area hotspots to your object movies, making them even more interactive. I have a multi-row project already set up, and now I want to add some hotspots. To get to the area hotspot editor, click Modify in the Hotspot section, and then enable the hotspots here. For this project, I want to let users know that this is a limited edition instrument panel. Using the polygon tool, I'll start drawing over the first image where the panel is visible. To draw the polygon, just click, move, and click again, and keep doing this until you get to your final point, and then double click to finish the shape. I'll go to the next image and draw another hotspot, and I'll continue doing this for every image in which the panel is visible. And here's a time-saving tip. You can use the cursor keys to move through the images. To delete a hotspot, just click on this eraser tool, choose a shape, and draw over the existing hotspot. And don't forget to deselect the eraser tool when you're done. This hotspot will act as a tooltip, so I'll just add a title and everything else I'll leave blank. Notice that now the ID has changed. The hotspot was given a unique number, and the title is also added to the ID. That one's done, now I can add a second hotspot. But first I need to add the new hotspot by clicking here. The first hotspot turned blue. This means it's no longer active. Red will always indicate the active hotspot. I'll give it a title, and I also want this hotspot to be clickable. So I'll add a URL that points the user to information about this product. If needed, you can use the target field to set where the linked site will open. For example, if you add underscore blank, the linked site will open in a new browser window. If the field is left empty, it'll default to underscore self, which will open the site in the same browser window or frame. So here's the Vespa project with the tooltip on the instrument panel. And the clickable links on the sides of the moped. For some projects, a hotspot doesn't need to be drawn on each image. Instead, they can be reused, which means a hotspot will be applied to each image, ultimately saving time. This is a single row project with multiple columns and view states. Each view state shows the car in a different color and as a night scene. Hotspots were drawn and reused for the view states. This means that the hotspots only needed to be drawn for the one state and they'll be applied to every state. Hotspots can also be used to trigger actions within the skin. When I click on the windshield, an image pops up to give more detail. This is done using hotspot proxies. So when hotspot number 8 is clicked on, it'll trigger this element to appear. If I wanted a hotspot to be applied to every single image, we would choose Columns. Doing that would change the Images option to All. Now I'll add a new hotspot and draw it here. I'll output the project so we can check out this new hotspot. Here it is, and it's been added to every image. That's it for drawing area hotspots in Object2VR and adding more interactivity to your projects. And thanks for watching.